Hi guys, so some of you may have noticed the title of this series and possibly think that I've gone completely off my rocker. So let me tell you what the 12 months of Christmas is all about. Every year in our household, we make gift baskets, which we give to family, friends and neighbors at Christmas. And I think there's something truly wonderful about receiving homemade gifts. By their very nature, they show somebody that they're worth your time and effort. So I'm going to share with you some of my makes and recipes, which by the end of the year will assemble into some of the most wonderful gift baskets and also some goodies for you and your family too. We are going to be exploring many different crafts over the coming months from mead making to beading and of course some needle felting. You could choose to have a go at some of the items or you can have a go at them all. It's entirely up to you. Some of the makes will require extra equipment and everything will be listed out on the website. But this is a great way to get a jump on things and it takes a lot of the stress out of what is a very busy time of year. Recipe sheets and downloads can be found on the Mums Makery website. That's mumsmakery.co.uk. And please do just take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel as we will be bringing you a new episode each month. So sit back, and let's take a delicious and crafty journey together over the next 12 months. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. And in this episode, um, I'm gonna be showing you how to make uh, vanilla extract. And if you're like me, I make cakes, vanilla ice cream, all of that good stuff. And a good vanilla extract is absolutely invaluable. I'm going to show you how to make your own and it is the simplest thing in the world. Uh, it involves two ingredients. You're going to need vanilla beans like this and you're going to need vodka like that. And it is, like I said, it's the simplest thing. I like to put vanilla extract in my gift baskets at the end of the year. Now, it does take quite a while for the vanilla to infuse. So it's one of those things that you just make at the start of the year. It needs a little bit of attention, just a shake here and there for a few weeks, and then you just leave it in the back of the cupboard, shake it periodically. And as you can see, what I did with this one, I tend to make it on bulk, but um, I'm also going to show you a scaled down recipe and a scaled up recipe because if you do want to make it to give away uh, in your gift baskets at the end of the year then you're going to make probably about a litre so you want a litre of vodka and for every 40 to 50 ml of vodka you want one vanilla bean so a litre of vodka will need about 25 vanilla beans now I buy my vanilla beans uh, in bulk <laughs> like I buy my vodka <laughs> and what I opted to do was actually just use this bottle this one is about a day a day or two old and you can already see that the liquid is starting to discolor um, this one has been on the go for about eight or nine months and you can probably see that the liquid in there is uh, is a lot darker so what I suggest that you do, you can use vodka bottles, you can use jam jars, you can use flip top bottles, but start collecting um, any sort of jars and things like that that you've got. Give them a good clean, get any labels off them and just pop them in a cupboard somewhere because you know these are gonna be really, really good for making your batches of um, not just vanilla extract, but you know jams, chutneys, all that kind of stuff. So. What I'm going to do first, I've got, uh, I've got a little note here that, um, that I wrote out for myself that I just checked. And if you were to buy a litre of vodka, uh, sorry, if you were to buy a litre of vodka, um, if you were to buy a litre of um, a very well-known brand vanilla extract, it would probably cost you in excess of £100. Now, I can make two litres for about £80. Obviously, the price will, will vary depending on your ingredients. The vanilla beans I buy in bulk from a company called Nuts in Bulk, and they are uh, online. This vodka that I have bought is from Lidl, and it was just their cheapest bottle of one litre vodka. So the first thing we're going to do is prep the vanilla beans, 
and uh, what you're going to do is count out, um, as I said, this is about a 200 ml uh, jam jar. So if I were doing uh, 200 mils, then I would probably do four or five vanilla beans for this. Um, I am going to make a litre of, um, of this. So for that, I need 25 vanilla beans. So there's my 25 vanilla beans. And all you're going to do is take a very sharp knife and split your vanilla bean in half like that. Now, if you've got a small jar, you can also cut them in half as well. You know, just make them fit your, um, you know, your receptacle. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep all of these uh, 25 beans. All right, so I have prepped all of the vanilla beans, so 25 beans, uh, one litre of vodka, and I've, I've done a mixture of um, the long beans and also short beans. And all I'm gonna do is just drop them into um, this jar. There we go. Uh, like so. Once you've got your uh, your beans in your bottle, then uh, just grab your vodka. Obviously, make sure that whatever it is you're using um, is uh, clean and sterile. Um, I have soaked this in boiling water uh, for several minutes and then just allowed the um, bottle to air dry. And I'm just going to top it up. Obviously, it might be a little bit less than a litre because you've got the displacement of the beans. But there we go. I just want to leave a tiny little bit of room at the top. And there we go. That's, that's it. That's how we make vanilla extract. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to give it a shake um, every day for a minute for the first week, maybe two weeks, just to see how, how it gets on. And then shake it every few days for the next couple of weeks. And then once a week until the end of that month, maybe. And then they're pretty much just going to leave it in a, in a dark, cool place. Um, you can use it after about um, two months, but honestly, I would just leave it and forget about it um, for at least eight months. Just put it in the back of the cupboard somewhere. And that time is, is just such a good idea because it really will give you such a deep, rich vanilla extract to rival uh, in my opinion, anything that you can find, um, you know, at your supermarket. When you come to uh, putting it into bottles and jars and all that kind of thing, I tend to go with amber bottles. And there are three sizes that I've got here. I've got a 100 mil, I've got a 50 mil, and I've got a 30 mil. Now, depending on um, whether it's for you, whether it's going to be you're going to be giving it away, depending on how much uh, extract you want to make, decide what size bottle you want. I use a company uh, called I think they're called Ampula, but I will uh, pop a link um, for them as well. And I found them to be the most competitive um, on price. Obviously. I buy bottles in bulk as well. So um, the more you buy, the cheaper they become. But I believe that the 30 ml bottle is, uh, is around 30 or 40 pence uh, per bottle. And that includes the cap as well. Um, the vanilla extract that you can buy uh, on the market is usually in a 60 ml bottle. So a 50 ml bottle is a very, very nice gifting size 
But, you know, if you want to make the pennies go further and you want to have something that, you know, just gives people a little taste. I mean, 30 mil is, you know, that will make several cakes, um, you know, or several batches of vanilla ice cream or, you know, several, several sort of elements that you can use that for. Um, 30 mil does go a long way. Um, so that, that is effectively how to make vanilla extract. And again, the extract process is the same for a lot of things. You can use it to, you can use vodka to extract flavors from many, many other things as well. So I wanted to jump back in and just give you guys a little bit of a, a bonus episode, I guess, um, because with the vanilla beans, uh, there's a lot that you can do with them. And I'm going to show you how to also make some vanilla sugar. And if you've never had vanilla sugar before, it is amazing, especially on things like pancakes or cinnamon rolls or pretty much anything that you would put sugar on. You can put this vanilla sugar on. And again, a little addition to your gift baskets um, for Christmas, you know, a little jar of vanilla sugar um, with a nice piece of cloth on the top, little label, and it all adds to that really sort of personalized rustic feel for your baskets. And again, this is the simplest thing uh, to make. It doesn't take very long at all. So what I've got is some standard granulated sugar and for a one kilo bag of sugar, you're going to need four or five um, vanilla beans. Now, the ratio could be uh, one bean per two to 400 grams. So you could, if you wanted it he sort of more heavily scented, you know, more of the vanilla taste, then you could go to five beans for a kilo. Um, if you want it just very subtly flavoured with vanilla, then go sort of two and a half or three beans for the kilo of sugar. Slightly different preparation um, than the um, vanilla extract. What we're going to do is we're going to split the beans completely in half and scoop out the seeds um, in the middle. But don't throw the beans away because we're going to do something with those as well. The best way to split the bean to get um, the maximum amount of seeds out is to turn it up on its end. Now you do need a very sharp knife for this and split it right along that edge and then you can open it out like so all the way down and then take the back side of your knife and scrape all the way down. You get all of those lovely beans out. So once you've finished scooping out um, all of the seeds inside, I'm just gonna finish um, splitting these pods completely in half because we're going to use um, we're going to use these pods. We're going to be using these pods um, to put back in um, and it adds a really nice decorative flourish as well. So you can see the amount of vanilla seeds that I got out of those five pods. Obviously I like, um, I like vanilla a lot. So uh, I tend to use five beans uh, in a kilo of sugar. So what you're going to need uh, to do next is get your food processor and um, you're going to need your kilo of sugar. Pop your sugar and your vanilla into your food processor. And I'm saying this now because this is going to be noisy. Um, and then just mix it up. Um, so all of that in, that's one kilo of sugar. And then all of my vanilla seeds in there as well. Here we go. So 
So after a minute or two um, in the food processor, it's really going to um, you know, distribute those vanilla beans throughout your sugar. And if you've got any particularly stubborn lumps, then you can always just you know, pinch them out by hand. But you can see those flecks in the sugar. Now, what you're going to do is decant this into a sealed container, um, either one of the flip top lid ones or um, anything that's got a good seal on it and just leave it to infuse. We're going to, we're going to take the vanilla skins and we're going to leave those in the sugar as well. If you're making um, smaller jars, then what you're going to do is make sure you've got a good sterile jar and just get your sugar and fill up your jar. And once you've got your jar, just take one of those beans, press it down into the sugar and pop your lid on. Give it a little bit of a shake and just leave that, um, just leave that. The longer you leave it, the better it will be. So if you are going to do something like this for your gift baskets for Christmas, then make up your jars now, individual jars with the vanilla bean skin in it. And just again, leave them in the back of a nice cool dark cupboard and you will end up with a really, really nicely scented um, gift for your basket. Of course, once you've got the, um, once you've got the actual things made, when you come to put them into your gift baskets, then what I suggest you do is grab yourself a nice little square of fabric. And I've got them under here somewhere. And a really sturdy elastic band. Pop that on and it really does just finish it off. A nice little brown tag label. Um, again, there's a, a list of sort of little packaging and it sort of accents, things like little brown tag labels and stuff like that um, that accompany this series. And there'll be links for those as well. So that's how to make the vanilla sugar. As I said, it's a quick little bonus episode um, because we were working with the vanillas and doing the vanilla extract so it is an absolute joy I, uh, my kitchen I couldn't tell you how lovely my kitchen smells right now um, it's just amazing vanilla is one of my absolute favorites so there we have it a little uh, Brucey bonus um, episode on making vanilla sugar and again something else that you can include in your basket all done probably in the space of less than an hour for everything so uh, i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this little bonus episode uh, thank you very much for joining me and i will see you in the next one mm -hmm.